Good evening guys and welcome to another GSR Reacts video. What joys do we have today? Uh, let's have a look. Nuke's top five scary haunted houses. Let's get into it. <laughs> Five ghosts caught on camera in haunted houses. Uninvited house. Top five ghosts caught on camera in haunted houses or haunted houses. How would you catch a ghost on camera if it's not in a haunted house? Comment down below. Guest. What is it? Is it real? And what is it doing there? Alan Campbell went to the home to see for himself. Joshua yeah, Higgins and Heather Bruff claim that their Highland, Michigan home is haunted. They say that they've heard unexplained footsteps up and down the stairs, Children and even an pets. angry male voice screaming and laughing in the night. But the couple, who live in the house with their 15-month-old daughter, say that the frightening occurrences don't stop there. I mean, there was even an, a morning that I woke up and I had felt like something was around my, like someone's hands were around my neck. One night, Heather catches a glimpse of something Boyfriend absolutely terrifying already. on her daughter's nanny cam. Heather immediately runs upstairs. I freaked out. I stopped what I was doing and I ran upstairs and I grabbed my daughter. She was horrified to find that her daughter had several mysterious scratches across her face. Heather says this so-called ghost scratched her daughter Lily and attacked her too. Hang on. Right. Look at the picture there. The kid uh, has got no, I don't know what the technical term for him is, but they usually wear some sort of mittens because kids are known for scratching themselves always. Uh, so you get these type of mittens. So first for me, no. Scratches on kid, no. No, no, no. If they were mittens, I mean, I'd probably still be skeptical if I'm honest. Um, but Nah. As for the apparition at the moment, nah. Ew. It scares us that it could do something else. The couple plans to move out of the house as soon as they can afford it. For now, they are sleeping in the same room with baby Lily every night. But right. They're looking at moving out of the house, a haunted house, as soon as they can afford it. Their kid is apparently being physically injured by a spirit yet they're going to stay in it until they can afford it. Personally, I'd go and stay at my dad's, uh, a friend's, a hotel, whatever. If my, however old the baby was, months by the look of it, you know, um, 12 months, whatever, is being physically injured by a ghost, I'm out. No. Because the lady said she's already had hands around her neck or felt that. The baby's being scratched and you're happy to stay in that house until you can afford to move. Not being disrespectful to him or anything and the, the state of the house, they don't look like they've got great paying jobs. No. <laughs> Leave it at that. Tell from the crypt. Now this next video is not technically a haunted house, but maybe something a bit spookier. A haunted cemetery crypt. The poster of this video says that he was walking through the hallway of a mausoleum in a Mexico cemetery late in the afternoon when he happened upon another strange visitor near the tombs. Y bueno, pues es un panteón relativamente nuevo, tiene alrededor de 30 años funcionando. Sí se ve algo tenebroso. Pero pues supongo que así son todos los That's wind. What it sounds like it. Niño, niño, ¿quién eres? Niño, or a dog? ¿Qué diablos hace aquí un niño? ¿Quién eres, niño? ¿Qué pedo? Ah, oh, we say the thing at the bottom. Niño, manche, no oh, mames. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Turn around, let's go. Tada! Ay, güey. Me ya no hay nadie. ¿Qué diablos fue eso? Hang 
hang on a minute. He's been so petrified of walking up and seeing this kid that he's legged it back down in fright. Turn around, no one there. Paul Daniels style. And now he's walking back. No mames, yo lo vi. Nadie me lo contó, yo lo vi. I hope the little shit jumps out from a corridor somewhere and gets him. Quién está? Quién es? Quién es? Turn around the corner. Let's have a look. Turn around. Qué trans. That way. That way. Descanse en paz. Now, there's something else that's very bizarre in this video that you might not have spotted the first time through. Watch as the guy filming approaches the area where the young boy had been standing. see it? No. Yeah, it looks like a hole in the window. The face of what looks like a boy peers from inside a sealed crypt. <sighs> no. No. No, no, no. No. Not sure about this one, but I think I'll say no. With no door. Crack so, no. what do you think? Yeah, well, Is yeah, this a no. ghost caught on camera no. in a haunted cemetery no. crypt? Or simply a well edited hoax. You decide. Disappearing act. The person who uploaded this video claimed that every morning he would awaken to find a particular door in his house open, even though he had closed it tight the night before. No problem with that? Then one day, while walking through his house, he was shocked to see what could only be described as a face staring back at him from behind the door's glass. He set up his camera to record and captured this scary video. Door shuts. Shuts the drum set. Bang it. Yeah. Oh, burst out the door and strangle the prick. There we go, look. Tend to your child, your knobhead. The video poster says no. that the sound of the crying child could not be heard when he recorded the video. That he only heard the cries after playing the video back. Oh, he's, so he's in not the comments, good. some have argued that since there are doors in the small entryway, the video could be faked by someone simply slipping back into another room and no. hiding when the door is opened. However, that person would have to be pretty fast since the face disappears almost instantaneously. No, no. It... If the video is a hoax, it would be more... The face disappears into the dark, hence why the room is particularly dark. I've seen these before. There's something done in England, America, all over. It was a trend for a while. Yeah, they are quite fun, elaborate hoaxes. I quite like them. Uh, it's very interesting that you're seeing that. But are you not telling me that the first time you see that, a face at the window, or glass, sorry, you put your hand on it and a hand appears, you open the door, there's nothing there, that you would not tip the fuck straight out of that house. Bullshit. More likely that it's done with some crafty video effects work. But what do you think? Is Agreed. this a ghost totally. playing peekaboo, or just a hoax? Just a dick. The Porto Mont Haunting. Now, many people are familiar with the infamous Enfield Haunting, which inspired the movie The Conjuring 2. 
The Enfield Haunted House originally gained notoriety not only because of the paranormal events that took place inside the house, <clears throat> but also because the haunting was verified by multiple independent sources. The witnesses even included the local police. They were even more baffled when two of their beat constables reported seeing an armchair levitate across the Hodgson's living room. It um, came off the floor, or nearly a half inch, I should say, and I saw it slide off to the right, about three and a half to four feet before it came to rest. Well, there's actually another lesser known haunting that has even more independent verification than the infield haunting. That's the haunting of this small house in Portamont, Chile. The residents of this home said that they heard the strange voice of a woman screaming in the night, telling them to get out. Soon after, the bizarre transparent image of a woman began to appear in their home videos and photographs. But the story gets even weirder. A local priest was called to the home to bless the house. Allegedly, this is video footage from the priest's visit. Allegedly. He's trying to bless the brush. But the bizarre sure. paranormal encounters at the Portamont house didn't stop there. Late one night, the Chilean police were called to the home. The family claimed that the evil spirit in the house was, quote, lifting objects and starting small fires around the house. When the police arrived, the police know that they were shocked to find that the story was 100% true. Los propietarios en este caso indicaron que había efectos paranormales en el domicilio. Claro, nosotros al ingresar al domicilio pudimos percatarnos que de forma sorpresiva caían especies del entretejo. Igualmente cuando iba saliendo yo, yo mismo de la puerta, eh, un cuchillo color negro de aproximadamente unos 15 centímetros eh, pasó rozándome la espalda y gracias a Dios tenía salido antibalas, ¿no? por lo que no se produjo alguna lesión. Bueno, recientemente igualmente se pudo apreciar humo que salió de una parte del interior del domicilio. Eh, no había nadie en el interior. ¿Personal de bomberos que no se ha hecho presente en el lugar? Personal de bomberos no ha concurrido al lugar. Tenemos que controlar la situación nosotros. Hay baldes con agua, igualmente manguera, pero tenemos todo controlado aquí. Además, este, haciendo presencia para que para evitar un mal mayor. Eh, los propietarios también han, obviamente, lo que logramos apreciar, Just han sacado sus enseres no para evitar house, algún tipo fire, de. No? Propagación, como bien menciona, por pues el fuego, ¿no es cierto?, se ha estado produciendo. Bueno, como usted pudo apreciar, hay algunos colchones que están quemados, como asimismo especies quebradas en su totalidad, como lámparas que cayeron desde el techo. One of the policemen who was filming outside even caught actual video of what appears to be something flying across the room inside the house. Procedimiento de rigor, ¿no es cierto?, para tomar obviamente lo que son fotografías, evidencia, ¿no es cierto?, eh, de esta casa, fotografías, evidencia, ¿no es cierto? Eh, de esta casa. You cannot see anybody. De esta casa. The family was removed from the residence for the night, Good. but still live there to this day. Good so, do. what do you think? Is the Portamont haunted house all just an elaborate hoax? One actually perpetrated by not only the family, but local clergy and even the police? Or is this actual proof that ghosts and haunted houses really do exist? You decide. Now, ghosts and haunted houses, of course they exist. That one, fuck no, I call bullshit. 100%. I mean, uh, 
The masters are catching fire, but when the police arrived, the story was true. How the fuck do they know? They've just arrived. Yes, there's a burn in the mattress. You cut. The, I mean, clearly the house is busy. The dogs are barking away. Police everywhere. Fire. I don't know if the ambulance are there. Neighbors, friends, relatives, all sorts of shit going off. You can't tell me there's not one person in the house chucking shit about. I don't know what they're doing in the first instance. Look, like I was trying to bless, uh, bless the broom for some reason. If that was a broom, God knows. But God no. I mean, there's there's fakery. And there's those that don't even bother trying. Seriously? No. That's actually annoyed me, that one. It was so bad. But hey-ho, we'll keep going. Onlooker. YouTuber DeathGod2022 says that he is not a believer in the supernatural. With the name After like his Death family God. moved into their new house, they all began to experience strange things. One night he was watching his two daughters on their baby monitor, and he saw this. mass in the doorway it almost looks like the blurry image of another small child peering over the child gate and watching his daughters play but when he goes to check there's nothing there is this a creepy child ghost caught on camera or just a trick of the infrared light and if so just what is the light picking up let me know what you think down in the comments well without knowing what's particularly behind that door that you can see on the screen now. I mean, if you have a look, it looks like it's got bunny ears. Uh, no, that's picking up on something behind the infrared light. I mean, that doesn't look like a child to me. It, it, that's the problem with infrared light. I mean, it's not a particularly well shot video either. Um, they're very grainy. I don't know when this was shot, but I mean, even the four or five hundred pound cameras nowadays can pick up crystal clear images and when you've not got a crystal clear image that always bugs me out straight away um, the kids don't seem bothered the kids can't seem anything they're just up and about playing where the hell was the baby monitor is it in the in his shed in this garden or something what the fucking hell is he doing leaving kids alone like that yeah he's in the garden he's only a few seconds away that's all it takes Jesus Christ I mean child services for a start would be good but the thing is, no, I mean, it looks like it's got ears to me, like a bunny, um, like a rabbit of some sort. So the infrared's picking up on something behind, as far as I'm concerned. Or they've put something there um, behind it, just enough to make it look like something's peering over. But again, for me, no, 100% no. Um, the quality's not good enough to show anything. And the kids don't seem bothered. He's clearly irresponsible. So no, sort of thing that he would do. So 100% no. Hey ho, fun videos, but they're all hoaxes, every single one of them. There's nothing even comes close to paranormal on them. Um, some of them didn't even bother trying, so hey ho. But that's a wrap for this one, guys. We'll call it a night. Uh, I hope you've liked it. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you want me to react to next. If it's Nuke, Mojo, Fearsome Top 5, or anything else, drop us a comment. Let us know. Uh, please tell your family and friends. See you in the next video.